Hello, welcome to this short video on how to set eyelets. These are the kind of things you use for lacing up the back of a corset, as this, or a bodice. First of all, we'll start by making a hole. We've got the positions already marked on the back. If your instructions tell you to cut a hole, please don't. Poke the hole. I'm using a sharp pair of scissors here, and I'm just pushing apart. I'm not cutting them. That makes for a much stronger join. If you cut the threads, the grommets or eyelets will have a tendency to pull out. I'm making a hole with the scissors. I'm then going to enlarge it using a knitting needle. I'm using 5mm eyelets, so I'm using a 5mm knitting needle, and that will make it the right size. So work the needle about till it's a good smooth fit, and then we're going to put on the top hat part of the eyelet. I'm using two part eyelets here. These are better than the one parts, although the technique works just as well with the one parts. Slide the top hat onto the knitting needle and leave the knitting needle in the fabric to keep the hole open while you slide the fabric up over the top hat part of the eyelet. And there's the eyelet through. The neat part of the eyelet goes on the right side of the fabric and pokes through to the wrong side. We then place this on the angle. These come in with the kit. I've put mine on a piece of fabric to protect the furniture because I'm going to be doing some heavy hammering. Make sure you work on a good sturdy piece of furniture. If you use a table, work over the leg. If you work on the floor, please try not to work on carpet, it'll just bounce, and be very careful about working on tiles because they have a tendency to break. Then I'm going to put the washer bit over the top. These have two sides. One side is concave, like a valley, and the other side is convex, like a mountain. This is the side you want showing. And that goes over the top hat piece. This is on the inside of the corset. And then we're going to use the hammering part that comes in with the kit. That sits neatly over the top. Make sure everything's nicely centred and keep your fingers out of the way. This is quite a good heavy hammer here and a few sharp blows. Let's see if that's doing the job. I think that wants a little more flattening, so I'll give that a couple more blows. Yes, that's better. And that is how to set an eyelet.